Hey guys, this is Logic Crazy and I'm Jonathan and welcome to yet another Java Chess Engine tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be going through an example of how to debug uh, the, a chess engine uh, moves and, uh, move generation and make move routine using the perfect divide uh, routine which we discussed in the previous tutorial. So to get started what we can do is we can take our starting position which I have here in our perf data text file and paste it in as our fen string that we are importing and we will set our depth to a depth of 3 uh, or let's set it to a depth of 5 uh, be a little adventurous here now it should work pretty good at a depth of 5 from the starting position so as you can see it's generating all the moves slowly now what move can what number can we expect as a grand total well, under depth of 5, we should get 4,865,609, and that looks like we got the correct total. So, at this depth, it looks correct. Now, uh, if we were, we could search to a depth of 6, perhaps we would find errors, perhaps we wouldn't, but it was just going to take a little too much time for this video. So, I want to just look a little bit at this depth of 5, and there could be future errors that we find and we want to figure out just to get an idea of what type of errors can we expect can we expect captures well probably not because captures have been happening uh, for the last few depths without any errors so we can assume our capture routine is pretty solid um, what about our impassants well it could be an, we could have an impassant problem because although it came up with 258 ampersand moves, that only means that our move generator, uh, our move possibilities came up with 258, but perhaps our make move routine actually made the ampersand move incorrectly. So maybe it uh, forgot to get rid of the uh, enemy pawn. So it only uh, moved its own pawn diagonally without getting rid of the opposite pawn. Um, what about castles? There could be problems with castles. We've never discovered, uh, never tried any castling. Same with promotions. Uh, as for checks, checks have been happening for the last couple of depths, so we can assume they're pretty reliable. Uh, checkmates, although fairly new, they've also been happening for a couple of depths, so we can assume if we are going to find errors, that they'll be in one of these three categories. And this is just uh, a general rule of thumb to narrow down our debugging. So let's set our uh, position to this more uh, mid-game position. Uh, paste that in as our fen starting fence string. And we'll set our depth down to 1. Whenever we use a new fence string, we want to uh, start right at the bottom. And from the starting, there should be 48 positions and we come up with a total of 48 which is exactly what I was hoping for now we'll set our depth to 2 now that 1 has passed and run that now we get 2043 when we look here at a depth of 2 uh, our number is incorrect there should be 2039 and so we know that there are uh, some extra moves being made, potentially. Uh, there could be errors, other errors, but potentially some extra few moves are being made. Now, let's look at what types of moves are made. We see that there are no promotions that are being made. Now, what could be our error is that a promotion is being found that shouldn't exist. So our engine thinks it sees a promotion, but there really isn't any. That could give us some extra moves. Um, and passants, well, they probably aren't our problem because um, it's, uh, for one, it's off by a fair bit. It just uh, it looks fairly unlikely. Also, this is the first depth of empassants, which makes it less likely. Um, and what we see is we have a fair number of castling. And that is the most likely, since there's the most number of them and it's never been tested, Castling looks like uh, the number one most likely uh, problem spot. But let's figure this out exactly. So if we open up Sh 
Sharper, uh, which I discussed in my previous tutorial. It's just a free program. And what we will do is we will set our position to the same position uh, in, in Sharper. So what we do is we type in set uh, board, and then we will paste in our fence strings so that they're both the same. Uh, then we'll type in force so that our program doesn't, Sharper doesn't uh, give a response move. And then we'll just type out print. And you can see that the printout should ideally look very much like our printout. And it does. It's just a little bit different to notation and stuff, but it, uh, it looks very much the same. And then what we will do is type in divide, which is basically a perfect divide routine, and to a depth of two, just like uh, our Java engine is doing. And we get the correct number of mo uh, moves from Sharper, uh, 2,039. And just a side note, Sharper, I've been using it uh, for tons and tons of positions on many different chess engines, and I find that it is the most reliable program that I have ever used. And also, it is uh, very, very fast at coming up with a ton of uh, positions. So uh, that is why I recommend it to you guys. So what we can see here is there are all these moves, and in one of these moves, for instance, perhaps after move E1, F1, there are, uh, Sharper says there should be 43 moves, maybe our engine will say that there are 44 moves or some little discrepancy. And so we will narrow down our problems. Uh, because I've already uh, uh, looked at this situation, I know that our error is in E5, D7. So if I find E5, D7 in our output uh, somewhere, and this is the tedious part, trying to find these things. Um, there we go, E5, D7. Uh, our engine says that there are 46 moves, and Sharper says that there are 45 moves. So we know that uh, there is an error that occurs after E5, D7. So what we're going to do is make that move in Sharper, E5, D7. Then we can, if we want, print out the change, and we can see that it was the knight that moved from E5, D7, or from E5 to D7. And we can also see that this would be an example where chances are there is a castling error. Because by moving this knight, you can no longer castle uh, kingside or uh, castle short. So um, because the knight is attacking one of the squares that the king would pass over. And perhaps our engine is seeing that one extra move as that castle move that shouldn't be allowed. That would just be uh, my guess at this stage. But what we do is we also want to make that move in our engine, just like we've done in Sharper. But it's not so easy as just typing in E5, D7. We need to update this fence string to reflect that move. So what we do is we take this same fence string, just copy it again, and open up Arena, which is another free program, and then we uh, set the board in arena to the fence string, so we uh, press F6 or get fen from clipboard, and now the position is identical. And then what we do is we make that same knight move so that it uh, is updated, and then we go back to position and we click copy fen to clipboard. So now the fence string has been copied to reflect that move. And now we set the import fen to the new fen string. All right, and we also have to set the depth to one less. And now we will run it, and we will see all of the 47 moves that our engine is seeing. Now, on here, we will also, again, divide to a depth of one, one less than before, since one move has been made, and we will come up with a different list. Uh, in a different order, but um, this is the correct list that we are wanting. And again, there are 45 moves now. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for the error. Now we can assume that it is a, a castling error. 
and castling errors should occur at the bottom of our engine list. These E8 moves, since our king started at E8, and E8, C8, and G8 are the moves. Uh, particularly this move, is, it is my suspicion that it is being made when it shouldn't. Now when we look at Sharper, it also groups the moves based on the piece. Um, and so we can look at E8, which is the king position, and see that there are only three. You can move to D7, D8, and C8. So above the knight, uh, capture the knight, or castle long. And our engine thinks you can also castle short, which is this E8, G8 move. And so we know that we need to change our uh, move method for this. So we go to our castling. Um, in this case, it would be castle black. And another thing is when you modify castling black, make sure you make the uh, mirrored images in castle white whenever it's color specific. And uh, just from looking at the code, I can already see that we're not checking to see if all the moves in between the king and the rook are under check. So for instance, this square is under check, which should prevent castling, but our code does not reflect that rule. So we will have to implement that. And I won't get into how to implement that right now, but this is just a real live example of how to find an error. And uh, just an extra note, when we're searching at depths of five, let's say, or four, before we find an error, then what we do is we make that move, then we look through all these to find the discrepancy, and then again we make those moves till we come down to this depth of one and we figure out exactly what that error is. And it should be a lot of help to, uh, to have that uh, ability. All right, I hope that this has been informative and that it will help you in your debugging processes. Until next time, enjoy Java.